on guys it's Ricky with Tech Butch Garage and in this video I'm going to be talking about the top three to five things that I dislike about the Lamborghini Huracan so um, I ended up picking up this car four days ago if you guys are not familiar with our channel um, our core focus within this YouTube channel is just empowering you to find the best deals in your area um, and when it came down to buying this Lamborghini I've been kind of researching the prices for uh, a little bit under two years I've seen that they fluctuated anywhere between 170 to two hundred thousand dollars depending on the mileage of the car uh, and I was able to pick up this Lamborghini 2015 610-4 clean title with 8100 miles two previous owners for $180,750. So in comparison to any other car out there, uh, private party sale, I felt like I did my part in getting the best deal possible in my area, which is Arizona. So feel free to do your own research and drop it down in the comment section. Hopefully you guys can find a better deal than I can. But let's go ahead and get right to it. Um, I know this is an absolute beautiful car. So although it's kind of like difficult to cherry pick the series of things that I don't like about the car, there's definitely some. And I want to start off with the number one thing. It's just it's kind of weird uh, because you spend so much money on a car and you expect it to be top quality. Let me go ahead and bring you guys inside real quick. Um, and one of the things that I want to point out is that in this Lamborghini, uh, one of the things that you notice is that the rear view camera is probably one of the worst rear view cameras that I personally have ever seen. In comparison to the 720, it has that like almost bird's eye view and that 360 camera and a rear view camera on top of that. The, even the 570S that I've had before, the MP412C, those were all high quality cameras. Even the GTR, you know, a car that right now sells for anywhere around 65 to $70,000 has a much better camera than this. So if we go ahead and turn on this car very quickly, so just go right here, switch this thing up. I'm gonna pop it in reverse real quick and if you hand me the camera, one of the things that you'll notice is that it's really difficult for you to be able to tell like the depth perception. And again, uh, I know that's not a very big deal, uh, but when it comes down to driving around an expensive car and having such a poor quality camera, you're like, okay, well just look at your, you know, uh, rear view mirror, an absolute trash sight, right? You can barely see anything. Also, when it comes down to looking out to your sides, huge blind spot there and huge blind spot there. So I just think that Lamborghini did a very poor job uh, when it came down to, I get it that it's a sports car and it's a supercar, but when it comes down to its overall blind spots, you would think that they would at least be able to make it up with a decent rear view camera. And that was definitely not the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on park, put that uh, and then turn off the car there. Well, one of the things that I also wanna bring up in comparison to uh, cars within this specific price range and around uh, the same type of like year model, um, I could compare it to a 570S. And comparing this to a 570S, which honestly right now easily sells for less than 180,000, I could find them anywhere from 140 to 160 and much cheaper than this overall uh, Huracan. Yes, I understand that it's not a Lamborghini, uh, but when it comes down to performance, this was something that surprised me. I think that the Lamborghini, it sounds amazing, right? Um, it looks amazing, but it's actual performance with a V10 in comparison to a 570. The 570, in my opinion, sounds much more refined and is actually, in my opinion, much quicker. So that's the second thing that I wanted to bring up. It just didn't surprise me like with its performance of like how quick it was or anything of that sort. I would think because it's all wheel drive that it would have been something rather unique, uh, but I just didn't get that from the Huracan. Now, one of the last things that I wanna bring up, and again, I know that this is a very small issue, but again, when it comes down to paying for an expensive car, I would just think that this is something that they would have taken into consideration. So if you come on over here, again, the car like locked up right now, right? We stepped away from it, it locked up. I'm walking up to it and I wanna open the car. So I'm gonna make sure that it's locked real quick. So I'm gonna make sure that it's locked. I'm gonna walk up to it and with every other car, it's a keyless you know, key, right? It's a keyless entry. You would think that you'd be able to do it. It would be able to sense the key and it'd be able to open. I'm not too sure if it's just my specific car, but it does not open. So I, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of then having to go back into my car, unlock it, and then kind of go like this. Trust me, I understand that it's a first world problem, but 
you know, Toyota Camrys, Honda Civics, any car that's 2010 or newer with a keyless entry automatically opens when you walk up to it as it senses that specific key. And you just don't get that with the Huracan, which I just don't really understand how they were able to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys very quickly and kind of what I mean. So I'm gonna walk up to my 720S. Um, and one of the things that you'll notice is as soon as I walk up to it, it will detect that I'm there. And then I will just press the button and it will automatically open the car. It opens up the mirrors. Again, super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I, it was still somewhat difficult for me to choose the three things that I did not like about the Lamborghini Huracan. Again, I just picked it up and I'm sure as time goes on, I will you know, uh, continue to fall in love with it. I think it's an absolute beautiful car and it gets so much attention. I'm not too sure if it's because of the Lamborghini name or the actual spec itself. Uh, uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a breakdown in my comparison and in my honest opinion, what I think about the Lamborghini Huracan in comparison to any other supercar that I've had the blessing to either drive or actually own myself. So again, guys, if you guys have any questions, just like we told you before, this is our new YouTube channel for Tech Buds Garage. My main channel has over half a million subscribers. Ricky Gutierrez, we're the largest YouTube channel for those who trade in the stock market. We would love to empower you and work with you on a closer basis when it comes down to finding the best car deals in your area. Uh, so again, I bought this one for hundred eighty thousand and my goal with this specific car is to be able to enjoy it for about two to three months uh, and then once the fall semester comes because I'm so close to the ASU campus I plan to actually resell it for a profit which is something that again not a lot of people know that you can do with these high-end cars and it's not just with these high-end cars we do this with all sorts of cars so if you have extra time this summer and you would like to jump on a call and learn a little bit more about what we do it's literally absolutely for free I'd love to jump on a call with you click that first link down below and feel free to join our free Facebook group with that second link in the description hope i earned a thumbs up hope you guys enjoyed drop a comment on what you guys would like to see next and like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy team